your kids a, a lifetime experience, you shouldn't have fear at night. Breaking tonight, a 10th American has died in the Dominican, and it has families across the area canceling their vacations. According to the Washington Post, flight cancellations have risen 45% in recent weeks, while bookings to the Dominican Republic have declined 59%. Channel 11's Damani Lewis is live now. And Damani, that family is out thousands of dollars. Gordon, that's absolutely right. Out thousands of dollars, but one woman we spoke with says her family's safety is not worth a trip to paradise. I have three children, um, and we decided that my husband and I wanted to take them on a beautiful um, Caribbean vacation. For Heather Grasser, her idea of a dream family vacation was a trip to Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, a trip she paid more than $7,000 for. Now, just one day before her trip, she's canceling. You know, I don't know what my children will be eating and drinking, and that alone just scares me. Channel 11 told you about Robert Walker just yesterday. He was attacked while walking back to his hotel room in the DR in January. That incident, plus the mysterious deaths of now 10 Americans, has created pause about traveling to the Dominican Republic for not only Grasser, but others as well. According to the Travel Info website, Forward Keys, flight cancellations have risen 45% in recent weeks, while bookings have declined 59% to the Dominican Republic. We'll for Grasser, she says her family isn't worth risking me. for any vacation. Uh, couldn't sleep at night, my husband and I, because we were worried about going. Um, and, you know, when you spend this amount of money on a vacation and, you know, wanting to give your kids a, a lifetime experience, you shouldn't have fear at night. You know, you should be excited and wanting to go. And Grasser says her family safety is way more important than any trip. She says she is hoping, however, to get some of her money back from the trip, but doesn't expect a full refund. We're live tonight. Damani Lewis, Channel 11 News.